You were gonna get to Yakov Smirnov eventually. I'm glad it happened in the first two minutes. I'm gonna Yakov Smirnov all over this table. Please don't Yakov on my table. Oh. To understand the food of our present, we must first understand the food of our past. That's why we're recreating some of the most notable meals throughout history, and today we are racing to space for one giant meal for mankind. The casserole my Aunt Diane made, it was double batch, it was for trivia night. <laughs> nope, we're making the first meal ever eaten on the moon. Wow, oh, okay, I guess it's time for Meals of History! All right, Emily, today we are blasting off to July 20th, 1969 nice. for an intergalactic moon meal enjoyed by astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins in the Apollo 11 mission that made the United States the first country to touch down on the moon. Now, do I think that the space race was a glorified pissing contest between the Soviet and American governments? Sure, but it's still really cool, and the food seems really awesome. So are we gonna make like Dippin' Dots, you know, the ones that you get at the mall? Yeah. No, we are making the day five breakfast from the mission, which consisted of bacon squares, sugar cookie squares, pineapple peach drink, and freeze-dried peaches. Though technically the first food eaten on the moon was Buzz Aldrin's communion wafers. However, this was the first full meal. Oh, okay, cool. This sounds really, really good. Lots of cubes, lots of cubes. We got a lot of cubes, we got a lot of freeze drying, we got a lot of weird chemicals going on. All right, Emily, you know the drill by now. I'll make the food you dress up as a, and she's already getting changed. I, I, I just assumed you were gonna be Neil Armstrong, but it was a Sally ride? No, I'm not Sally Ride. I am Valentina Tereshkova. But Sally Ride is the first woman in space. I no, silly American. I was first woman. I was also first woman to do it in a solo trip in space. All by myself. I don't need you. You don't need no man. I don't need anyone. Well, do you need some space bacon? I, I, the Russian thing is throwing me, but I guess I'm excited to show you a big piece of American culture, what which is bacon. Is space bacon. So space bacon, I'm really glad you asked. I'm obviously no scientist. I didn't even graduate from college. I imagine you probably went to some sort of like Russian cosmonaut school. My God, do you always talk this fast? <laughs> yes. You talk, talk, talk. You say nothing. Say nothing at all. I don't like that. Bacon. I don't like that bacon. Emily's actually We're dragging me. We're making bacon. We're making space bacon. Space bacon. Bacon is an American product. It's pork that has been cured with sugar and salt and then smoked, but then for- <laughs> And salt? You have both in your country? You have both sugar and salt. <laughs> So what we're gonna do to try and mimic what you might do to make space food is we're gonna add sugar and salt to this ground pork because it's gonna be a lot leaner, so there's gonna be less fat to take up space because we needed the astronauts to actually have nutrient-rich food. So we're gonna get some lean pork in here. Nutrients. In Russia, you don't have nutrients. In Russia, nutrients has you. <laughs> You're gonna get to Yakov Smirnov eventually. I'm glad oh, it happened in the first two minutes. I'm gonna Yakov Smirnov all over this table. Please don't Yakov on my table. All right. I'm taking some of this ground pork and I'm gonna add a lot of salt to it because salt is a natural preservative, right? So we're gonna eventually freeze dry this food and then we're gonna vacuum seal it to try and get all bacteria out. Cause like this stuff had to last for a long time. And then I'm gonna add a ton of sugar to this because sugar is also a preservative. So citric acid is another citric preservative. Citric acid? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit sour. I feel like all the food up there is a little bit sour, citric acid, but then we got some other cool stuff. We got xanthan gum. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, xanthan gum. Is it from a gum tree with a kookaburra in it? I have no idea where xanthan comes from, but I do know that it is a huge uh, industrial thickening agent and binding agent. Okay. So the goal is to try and like really bind all of the starches and fats together so that there's no moisture like leaching out of this. This is all American space food, right? Like we had a bunch of like shrink wrap bacon bars. Everything was made into cubes. We're adding maltodextrin in there as well. What about Russian food? I'm not weak. I don't need food. <laughs> we have tubes. Is that how you say it with an accent? Tubes. We have tubes. Pink. Pink. Your food is pink tube? That's bush. <laughs> is it actually a bush tube? Sometimes. Sometimes it's little mouse you find. <laughs> All right, so I'm taking... Oh, and uh, sometimes uh, brown. Is the brown your favorite? I think or like it's, what? Yeah, I think I, I like the brown. Are you sure the brown isn't the waste tube? Ooh. That's a good question. I'm gonna add a little bit of what's called Ultratex 3, which totally sounds like a robot that would be in space. Sounds like some Wally food, but this is just a modified food starch that does really well with swelling, which means that it's going to absorb a ton of moisture and it'll also do it at a cold temperature, which I want this to get really kind of like thick and gummy right now. Mm -hmm. So that way when we like blend it and bake it, Hopefully none of that fat It smells out. like barbecue sauce in here. That's the liquid smoke. In the American space program, they wanted to remind the astronauts of home and stuff. That's why bacon was like a big part of it, such an American thing. But then now, NASA doesn't have bacon in the space program anymore. They only have sausage, and we haven't been into the moon in years. No, you have not. But really, you didn't even go to the moon. Oh no, oh you no, went, you're one you of them, huh? You went to a place where this man named Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. Stanley. You were referring to, to Stanley direct, Kubrick. <laughs> director Stanley Kubrick. Yes. He's saying the moon landing was fake. The man who made Shining, which is comedy 
in my country. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this, but this is looking pretty good. Hey, hey. this looks like pig tube. <laughs> So I'm gonna take some of this cooked bacon because I want that real bacon texture and flavor in there. But I want it to be bound by the pork and I especially want this to become a solid cube. So we're just gonna massage the bacon in there. Valentina, do you wanna you wanna start getting your hands dirty with some bacon? I feel like Russian women getting their hands dirty is that a is big true. thing. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How does that feel? It feels cold and yeah. satisfying. Doesn't it? All right, that's looking pretty good. Once that's worked in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and we're just gonna put it on a silicone mat and then we're gonna cook it. And then after we cook it, we gotta freeze dry it. Okay, I'm very excited because you keep saying freeze dry as if I know <laughs> what it means. I asked what it means. What freeze drying is, is a typical dehydration process. Like if you're doing it with beef jerky, you're using heat to get the moisture out, right? Uh -huh. With freeze drying, you're using cold to get moisture out. So you need to drop the food to such a low temperature that the water inside doesn't turn to ice, but it actually sublimes and turns to gas. Sublimes? <laughs> Are we gonna practice Santeria? <laughs> We're gonna be every just a-hole kid from my high school who wore that t-shirt. Yeah, it was a cool t-shirt though. It's a bummer. It cool t yeah, well, it's a bummer now that- Now we know that Emily was that a-hole kid from my high school. I didn't have it. I had the many deaths of uh, Kenny. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I had that shirt too. I had like the Homer Simpson one with the Duff beer on it and then I got suspended. You got suspended for that? Uh, not suspended, like, like a detention. I got almost suspended for bringing a knife. Hey oh! But the thing is, is this the Russian character? Or is this just the, no? It's just me. The Tennessee. But character. the thing is, I told on myself because I I had a camping trip, and oh, then I realized I brought the knife in the backpack, and then I went, I have a knife, <laughs> and then they were like, you got to go to the office now, and I was oh like, God. oh man, and then I went there. My dad came to pick me up, and they were like, because she told us it'll be fine, but we're gonna have to melt your knife down. And my dad what? was like, what? And they were what? like, yeah, we got to melt it down. My he's like, you got a knife melter? We've had the same textbooks since 1965, but you got a knife filter. Okay. <laughs> Emily, this explains so much about your origin story. I didn't get take suspended, this. so that's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna take this base bacon and I'm gonna put it in the oven until it's cooked, and then we're gonna cut it into some cubes. I, we, we, uh, space bacon, we have it. Yep. It's here now, it's here, it is a solid brick. This is what you would call in measurement a pud. You got a pud of space bacon in there. You need a there. pud of space bacon. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna trim it into cubes because that is how it was served on the Apollo 11 mission. So you see we got like the striations of actual bacon in there, which I think is very, very cool. Why does it have to be cubes? Because it stacks, it stacks. The oh, spaceship stacks. is small, it's like living in a studio apartment in Brooklyn. Ha <laughs> ha, New Yorkers. Burger stack I've never been in New York. Circles. But there's like, it's, it's squares. We didn't, there's no space for actually. There probably were space burgers. This is what, like 14 ounces of pure meat. That's like what you know, uh, 80 grams of protein that can be packed into like four square inches. Do you think when they eat their space food, they go like this with all their food and they go? They do. They do. I've seen videos. Um, um, uh, like that. In the. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Let's see what it does in our gravity when we're done with this. <laughs> Almost. Ah, that's so hard. Valentina, welcome back. You sound like little girl crying for mother. <laughs> terrible, terrible accent. I, I'll stop doing the Russian accent, I I'm sorry. It. So we, we gotta make the sugar cookie square. So that was a big part of this. Again, like I said, you know, the astronauts, they wanted to be reminded of home. What is more comforting than a lovely sugar cookie? But we got a couple little space tricks up our sleeve uh, to make this safe for space. Make it safe for space? I don't know. Like, what does that mean? Uh, cookies can combust. No, we got things like, we want to decrease the amount of moisture in these cookies. Cause again, we're gonna be freeze drying it and vacuum sealing it, trying to get all that air out. And so we're not gonna be adding egg to it. Instead, what we have is egg white powder. Okay. And we're also gonna be adding a couple other binding agents into this that should really let that moisture just sort of dissipate out of that in the freeze drying process. So we're just gonna add sugar to Crisco instead of using butter because butter does have a certain amount of water content in it. Okay. We're just gonna use Crisco, which is just straight hydrolyzed fats. It's one of the most interesting things about the food in space is that it doesn't taste the same that it would at normal gravity because it experiences something called fluid shift when you're in space. Literally like your sense of balance and your entire brain chemistry gets messed with because you're in zero gravity and the fluids are literally shifting around differently. It affects you smell and taste. Do you want to know something else? I do. Cosmonauts, we, we're called cosmonauts. <laughs> I knew that one. You all like, like to put the word S, S. in things. Astronaut, your eyeballs change shape. What? Because of the pressure in your brain, your brain it changes shape of eyeball. Is that true? Yeah, that's also a random disturbing fact that I put on the wheel for a <laughs> people morning. And I'm gonna have to tell them to take it off because I spoiled it. It's over, baby. That's how we tell I'm the true have fans. To write new things. <laughs> All right, so we have 
all that fat cream to the sugar, and then I'm gonna add, this is malted milk powder. Malted milk comes from fermented barley that they then put in dehydrated milk, and this was a huge thing that like the British government would serve the troops because it was considered very, very nutritious, mm. and I also think it's really delicious and baked goods. So I'm just gonna dump that with all the flour in there. I'm gonna do half right now, actually, and then we'll add the rest later. Okay. And then this, powdered egg whites. 2,500 calories of nutritionally balanced food is what NASA's space program is based on, and so what's more protein gonna do for you? We're gonna add some salt. A little bit of vanilla extract, and then can you figure that out? This is soy lecithin. So soy lecithin is an emulsifier. Don't be shy now. I just gotta finger get your, it off. Just I off. finger your American food. <laughs> Finger my finger American your American food. food. This is like, I'm gonna have to rub my finger around in Yeah, kind of get it in the goo. Do you want me to turn on while your finger's in there? No. No, that way it'll get it, it'll disperse it. I don't want it, Come Josh. Come on, Josh. Valentina. <laughs> what was that accent? Mm -hmm. I feel like this is the only other Russian name that I've heard other than Oksana. Uh, Nina, Nina Sergeyevna. That's the character from The Americans. I've watched The Americans oh. three times through. Season two of The Americans, best season of any show on TV. My parents keep saying to watch it, which is precisely why I don't. And we're gonna add some more flour in there. We wanna beat some air into it. Oh, vinegar. We got a little bit of vinegar as well. So one, vinegar is going to decrease the amount of moisture in this because it's gonna make air evaporate faster. But not only that, acetic acid is also a preservative. <laughs> All right, so this is looking good. Yeah, unhook it. That's my next career move, right? What? Revamping the space food program. I already know all the science. None of it's real. I don't want anyone from NASA to watch this episode at all. Just be like, yeah, there you I go. hope that no Russians watch this episode. No, we're gonna lose all of our Russian fans. I like all of you. I'm sorry. Uh, how do you say? Someone look up. I love you in Russian. <laughs> what? And Nicole just pulled Nicole that out. Nicole just knew it. <laughs> hey Nicole, I'm gonna move my mouth and then you say it again. Hang on. Love that. All right, so we have the sugar cookie dough. We need to mound this into a square. You want to do that? Everything got to be square, y'all. I think actually square because it all has to stack. Wouldn't it be great if I just came out here and I was like, what up? I'm from Russia, y'all. <laughs> I dig on Russian food. I didn't understand vodka until I went to uh, uh, my first Russian restaurant. And then I was like, oh, you got to drink nine shots of it. But then it's good. If you ever watch the movie Eastern Promises, it's no. like they, oh, so good. Vigo Martinson. <laughs> they drink a lot of vodka and the accent plus the visual of it just Mm. Looks like the vodka tastes better with a Russian accent. All right, so we got this padded out. This is gonna spread a little bit. We still want some height on it because we want it to be about the same size There's as the bacon hole. bars. Finger the hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the spaceship. We're gonna pop that in. I feel like every time we do something successfully, we should be like a Russian gymnast and just be like. Smile, big teeth, big teeth. Valentina, now we got to start the freeze drying process. As you see, this is not as high tech as NASA would probably do it, but we're doing, I feel like Emily can speak to this one on the kind of hillbillyification of, not that I'm, you know what I'm saying. I know, <laughs> it's okay. You can't offend me about stuff like that. It's like people who like fill up a trash can with oil and then just put a propane burner underneath and deep fry a turkey. You can do that, don't do Ooh, that at home. That is new information for me, <laughs> but I <laughs> It's fun, so this is our like low budget method of freeze drying. So freeze drying is typically done in a big machine for cryo desiccation or whatever, but you can achieve the same results according to the internet at large. We'll see what actually happens. Using dry ice, what's gonna happen is we're gonna layer this food to simply packed with dry ice. And dry ice is so cold that it's gonna turn the water that's inside the food directly into gas that's going to sublimate instead of freeze out of the food. And then we unpack it and we vacuum seal it and then we eat it and then we go to space or Stanley Kubrick directs a film. And all I'm saying is there's ice walls around. So the, the food's earth. gonna fart in there? The food's gonna fart in there, yes. That's what I call it. Cool. I'm like, I didn't fart, I sublimed. I made it sublimed <laughs> out of my anus. Okay, so uh, peaches. Okay. Millions of peaches, peaches for free or whatever. I don't know, that song Nicole's yep. playing it. So you're gonna take those peaches and kind of like place them around dry ice. Don't touch dry ice because dry ice can like burn you or something. My eighth all grade right. science teacher told me that. You remember eighth grade science? Yeah, Mrs. Batten, she was cool. She lit her desk on fire with like a fire chemical the first day. Oh, it's already smoking. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we got that there. I'm gonna throw some more dry ice on it. So like the American space program, right? Like we were freeze drying a lot of stuff, we're vacuum in a lot of stuff. It sounds like the Russian space program just went for the tubifying method. We don't need much. <laughs> and this is why we got there first. But we got to the moon first. And that's Ooh, the important to part. The we moon. Got to the moon. Yeah, that's, no, that was the whole thing, right? What'd you find there? Did you find anything good? <laughs> yeah. Did you find, did you find dirt? No, it was like, yeah, some there dust. was moon dirt. There was some, uh, we played golf on it. Oh. Like, yeah, what, what are oh. you, uh, play, you can't play ice hockey on the moon. You played a sport that you did not even originate. <laughs> you played sport that other people made. 
Yeah, we made so many sports. We had, we had John Day, Arnold Palmer. You know, he invented iced tea and lemonade, and he's a golfer. That's important. What a genius! All right, Valentina, throw some space bacon in there. So that's the ones yes. that just now look like blondies, but I can assure you, I are bacon. It. The idea is we're just gonna layer all this stuff. Do a noise like it's falling into a forever abyss. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> I didn't know what noise we were talking about. Hang on. All right, do it. All right, do it again. Ah! If I was falling into a forever abyss, that's what it would be. I don't want to bury these be cookies gentle. completely. Be very gentle. Place them so they don't break. Yeah, be gentle, like a dainty American woman, not like, you know, the big, tough Russian women. No, I didn't mean you're big. I just, I wasn't trying to insult you, Valentina. I can I, be very, very delicate. <laughs> very, very delicate? Very like delicate. A flower? You just I mean, very flower. delicate, no. It's a delicate face you got there. <sighs> it's a delicate little grunt. Move. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm just gonna be over here. I'm chilling. If you need my help, delicate. you don't need help. Delicate, shush. Okay. I do it real delicate. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm inhaling so much of this. It's bad. I think it's fine, right? We have our protective gear on. We sure do. All right, this is pretty good. I'm gonna. Ha! <laughs> Give me ten or I crush you. <laughs> Okay, so we have everything packed and dry ice. We're just gonna pop a lid on this and keep it cracked because we don't want to seal it because that, in theory, is how you make a bomb because all these gases are gonna pressurize. And then we're gonna leave this for a couple days until all the dry ice is pretty much gone or mostly gone. Then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna vacuum seal it and then we get to eat it. And it, it's probably gonna, it's gonna be something. American make bomb. <laughs> Real original, make eh? little bomb, America, oh. We did that first too. Really? Traditional Russian dance. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Oh, oh my no. god! Oh god! No! 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 Go back! Go back! Tina, can I call you Tina? Mm, absolutely not. Okay. So we gotta vacuum seal this food. It's freeze dried. You can see it. This is a peach. Ah! Thought it was actually gonna shatter. We gotta vacuum seal and take all of the air out of that. Like every American when they walk into a room, just suck the air out of everything. <laughs> A lot of anti-American sentiment, eh? Yeah, we have fun. How did you end up being chosen to be the first woman in space? It's a well, heck of an honor. As a child, I wanted adventure and travel, and I wanted to be train driver. She said train driver in every interview. Do you want to be a train driver? I'm like, that's a conductor. <laughs> mm, okay. But anyways, I wanted to travel, but now I drive train in space. Yeah. I guess it's kind of like yeah, a train in that. space. I also love skydiving. Did you skydive like back in the day? Yes. I feel like it's dangerous I, then. At night, I train. I did not, I do sneak around, did not tell my family. <laughs> no, what? is this? So this is a vacuum sealer. So this is taking all of the air out. So air is what can cause bacteria to come in. So we're gonna seal this off and then that should be good to go in space. Should be freeze dried, feeling pretty hard. The noise sound like cow out for slaughter. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel like there's a lot, a lot of Russian cows being slaughtered. One of my favorite sounds. <laughs> did, did, were you, did you serve in the army? Like do you have that background? Well, I, yes, in the- uh... Did you kill a man? I'm sorry, I shouldn't ask, shouldn't ask, shouldn't ask. No, no, we don't talk about that. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. You know, I, I hid things from my family. They did not know I was going into space. <laughs> How did you hide going into space from your family? It was simple, I did not talk to them. I just, you know, a lot of we're not like Americans. We don't need to uh, say, I love you. <laughs> I love you. I'm American, I love you. You don't say you. it like that, we don't sound like that. You sound like a cartoon. Okay, you sound like this. I love you. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good though, I like that one. I I love you. <laughs> I'm American. I'm Mandy Moore. <laughs> mm, I love you. The walk to remember? Duh. The, the walk to remember. <laughs> All right, back to filling up movie. these cookies. Did you get American films and TV shows in Russia? Some. Which ones? What are your faves? A walk to remember. That was the one. I just said French. I remember. said remember. Remember. It's hard sometimes to keep remembering. How did you do this accent? <laughs> oh, Paul Blart, the mall cop. Kevin James, Paul Blart. That's, that's Russian humor. Fat man, silly mustache. <laughs> 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 now that's something we can all agree on. Yes. Would you go skydiving, Josh? No, 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 no. Me Absolutely neither. not. No, no point. What's up there that you can't find down here? Not enough. No. Get me out of that. No. Nope. All right, one more. One more. Vacuum sealed up. Look at that. This. This looks like space. So food. cool. This is, space food. this is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this. The space bacon is looking a little frosty right now. You feel it? I mean, it is absolutely rock hard. We're gonna let this defrost because again, it's gonna be in like a multiple day trip in space. So I guess we're just gonna let it hang out in a Burbank. Burger King parking lot for a couple days. Valentina. What? I'm gonna take you oh, on a trip. What? <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take you on a trip to the moon. I usually fly solo, but uh, for this, I guess I will eat with you. Uh, 
Thank you in Russian. I don't know how to say it. Prego. <laughs> Valentina, thank you so much for joining me on the moon. Oh, this is not the moon. This is movie set. Look at the, look at the, Stanley. There is Stanley here. <laughs> Stanley Cooper, it's not here. Show yourself, Stanley. Okay, cal calm down, calm down. We're, let's just, you know what, fine. Let's just get into the space bacon. I'm really excited about it. Are you excited about this? As excited as I can get about anything. Hey, this is my level of excitement. Here's uh, me, not excited. Yeah? Here's me, medium. Similar? He has me very excited. Oh, oh. <laughs> a woman of very complex emotions, so take the space bacon. I, I mean, feel it out. It's definitely like lost a lot of moisture. Mm. It smells like bacon. Yes. Let's see if it tastes like bacon. Ooh. Uh, Nostrovia. C. <laughs> mm? I like it. It tastes like a prefab, like bacon jerky product that you would yeah, get. Kind you of see it. how dense the meat is. I like it. It's packed thick, but it reeks of bacon essence. It's spongy. It's so spongy. That's all the, the lecithin and all that Ultrax 3 maltodextrin food starch. I'm impressed with what we did. Yeah. All right, well, hey, we got we got some coffee too. This was oh, cool. commonly is commonly served. Hot? Oh. They just serve a lot of instant coffee in space. You need to keep your energy up in space. You know, it's boredom there, not a lot to do. Ah, it tastes like space coffee. Oh, wow. It's like watery, but also sharp. I love instant espresso. It's actually been sitting in our drawer for the last two We've and a half years. We've had like powdered milk this mm -hmm. whole time. We didn't want to use any of no, it for the coffee. No, drinking it black. This That's is a pineapple true. peach drink. Valentina would drink it black. She's a bitter woman, likes and why bitter is coffee. hot? It's confusing, Nicole. Why is this so hot? Oh, she's been sitting under the Ooh. lights. Ooh. Mm. That is like somebody oh, yeah. a, melted a sweet tart. To pop in the mouth. Dang, was this any in any way good for you? They just needed calories, right? They needed calories in small packages, which is how you end up with dense space bacon and then just the sugariest drinks in the world. There's but, like electrolytes in there too and all that. Have a cookie. I'm, this Ooh. is very cool. The shrink wrapping. I'm most excited about like, this. Wow. Mmm. You can feel I mean, that's a good sign that all the moisture is out of it from the freeze dry. Josh just became a wood chipper. <laughs> You're right. Well, I mean, this freeze dried really well because, I mean, it's just so crumbly, all the moisture is out of it. It's a little dusty. It's a little. <laughs> We're <laughs> choke on it. Drink some tang, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, no, Josh, gross. No, no, it's a space Arnold Palmer. Oh, gosh. That's actually pretty good. The really? Yeah, the bitter of the coffee cup. Try it. Try the space palmer. I really hate this idea. Uh, Arnie Palmy, Astro Palmy. Arnie Palmy. This is the driest cookie in the world. What are we gonna call this? This is an official cocktail that we've just covered, like the the Valentina. You could Valentina. To Valent to Valentina. Valentanga. The Valentanga. <laughs> ah. Wow. Why does my tongue feel numb? That's the fluid shift. That happens Your brain's every all time. jumbling around. You open space for a long time, you go a little crazy. The fluid confusion happens every, <laughs> the morning after a night of drinking, like all the time. Been there. Is it I gonna get be? get hammered in space. All right, should we dig into these peaches? No. You don't like fruit, Valentina? You don't deserve fruit. <laughs> you don't deserve fruit? Valentina, take peaches home. <laughs> it's a nice treat for Valentina. I'm gonna keep eating my meat. I feed it to my dog. Thank you. I'll take that. I'm weaker than your dogs, apparently. Well, Valentina, thank you so much for joining me and, and best of luck on your journey. And thank all of you for joining us here in the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes out for you every week. We got new episodes of our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcasts. Hit us up on Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams become food. We'll see you all next time. My God, madam. You are an impressive woman. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron, available now at mythical.com.